Hey, how's it going? Back again, finally. Today, I mostly want to talk about getting sounds for your DAW and sounds for your keyboard and sounds for your songs as you're about to record them. guys don't forget to subscribe down below and also leave a comment let me know what you think of all this stuff so the other day a friend of mine asked me where I get the sounds for the songs that I'm doing at the moment what I use sound wise for my DAW and also for the keyboard that I have here so I decided that I would go ahead and have a look at some of the better places to get sounds from and whatnot so the keyboard I have is the Complete Control M32, which came with a few sounds from Native Instruments. I have a, a video about this keyboard as well, which is uh, right up here if you want to have a look at that. I use Logic Pro for my DAW, and it comes with gigs and gigs and gigs of sound. So I was actually pretty good with the amount of sounds I had. But then I thought to myself, what companies were the ones that I sort of remember from years back when I was recording? You know, who was the best sounding guys that I heard of over the last few years? There were Native Instruments, there was complete uh, the Arturia keyboards, I think they had some sounds. There's a place called sounds.com which I believe have a, a monthly subscription. I don't use them so much because it's mostly loops and things, which I don't really use that much. What I was looking for was great string sounds and whatnot. Of course, by looking around, I came up with Spitfire Audio and they of course are the best of the best but super expensive so i wanted something you know that i could afford actually kept looking and then i found the east west subscription which is uh, 20 dollars 20 euros 20 pounds somewhere in that area per month and gives you all their gold sample libraries. So that means that I had all the strings all of a sudden I had all the brass the percussion stuff great things like the beatles sounds they also had crazy stuff like reverbs available as well. So I thought this is the thing for me. So that's what I did initially and what I've been continuing to do up until now. I have the East West 20 euro subscription. That's basically what I'm using for the sounds, but. Since I've been using the East West, the guys at Spitfire Audio have been releasing sound libraries for 29 euros a piece. Libraries which are affordable for people like me to, to, to purchase. And I think the sounds are fantastic. So I started out with the felt piano. Now all of these libraries are 29 euros each, but they're fantastic. And so I started with the felt piano then I got their next one, which was the Epic Brass and Woodwinds. At least I had my foot in the door with the Spitfire Audio great sample libraries right there. And then the next one was the Epic Strings, which then gave me that Spitfire Audio beautiful string sound. They are only a small part of the sounds in the actual humongous libraries that Spitfire Audio have. Last week, they put out a cinematic percussion library, which is also 29 euros. All of a sudden, you have a way into Spitfire land. I couldn't be happier. The sounds are fantastic. Also, you know, I've been following their YouTube channel and they have another thing uh, called Spitfire Labs, 
which are completely free sounds that come from Spitfire. The newest one is the Tundra Atmos Lab, a Wurlitzer piano, a soft piano, they've got the lab strings, electric piano, a, a set of drums, a rare groove piano, trumpets, sleigh bells, hard bells, dulcimer, they've got all kinds of things. This whole series of sounds, totally free, and you can just download and use. Now, if that wasn't enough, Chris and Hansen, who's one of the co-founders, has also started another thing then called Piano Book, which is a place for people that want to share their own samples. So let's say I was to sample one of my guitars or my mandolin or whatever, I could release the samples free to people to use. Piano Book is a, an absolutely fantastic resource of sounds made by people that just sample stuff that they have around the house or some of them have fantastic pianos and whatever else just to create sounds and then they give them away for free to all composers to use. Hard to get through all the sounds that they do have there. It's something that you would really need to have a look into and please do. It's something very special. Now, I know this sounds like an advertisement for Spitfire Audio. It isn't actually. I really love their sounds, and I think that Christian Hansen's uh, YouTube channel is spectacular, and it's a great place to learn stuff and to get a view behind the scenes of what uh, composing for film and TV is actually like, and whether or not you think that you could actually do it. They're running a competition right at the moment that I think that everyone should try out, and it allows you to use a clip from the television series Westworld. It basically gives you the Foley sound and the dialogue, but removes the music. The competition is basically for you to score an actual bit from a Hollywood production. They've given us until, this video should be out on the 5th of May. You've got until the 3rd of June. So basically you have just under a month to score your own little piece for a proper Hollywood production. I know people are having a hard time all around the world, but if you can afford to and if you'd like to, please join my Patreon as well. I'll try and do some extra, extra good stuff down there. There's a lot of uh, us musicians that are out of work, and I know here in Ireland it won't be until August at least before there's even an inkling of whether or not we're going to go back to gigging. So. If not here, please help any musician. Go give them a hand because uh, people are feeling the crunch at the moment. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>